Today I'm going to show you a Google Drive add-on called MindMup 2.0. It's a story or comprehension mapping uh, activity. Um, if you're wondering why a student might need to do such things, sometimes kids need to have a visual representation of a concept to have it make sense. Pictures often work better than words. So MindMup 2.0 is, again, I, I told you it was a Google Drive add-on. So you select New, go to More, and launch MindMup 2.0 for Google Drive. If, by chance, uh, you don't have that in your add-ons, you can scroll down, if my mouse will work today, and connect more apps that way. Pretty easy to do. Uh, but we don't want to spend a lot of time on that. I'm going to go ahead and launch MindMup 2.0. We want to start creating um, our map. Students will need some instruction in this, and I'm going to show you some basic moves today that will help you help them. With our, our root node started, I'm going to simply just type in topic one, and that's our beginning root note. Um, if we had, for instance, uh, obviously you add to the topic different characteristics by press it, by selecting that root note and pressing tab, I can add my first idea, or my second idea. I work in reverse sometimes. How about idea one? You can see that I can continue to add things like this. If I want to add a subtopic off of idea two, I can select it, press tab, and perhaps I would um, again type in idea one, select it, tab, idea two, on and so forth. So. I don't necessarily have to have ideas coming off of my main topic. Oftentimes, if we're doing a character study, there are many characteristics that are, are useful in listing, and we'll see an example of it shortly. If I want to maybe expand and have a compare and contrast kind of a situation, I went up to the plus and inserted another root node. Here it is. Um, and so I'll, I'll simply call this topic two. Once I have done that, I can take this tab and move it anywhere I wish. I can recolor it if I wish, and that can be uh, visually exciting. With it selected, I can add tab, uh, select tab, and add more ideas. And you can see how that will generate a map that a student then will fill based on a particular writing or comprehension need that you specify. This warning bar up here is, is troublesome, but we won't worry about it right now. So basic ideas uh, for adding sections or areas to a map. And so the good part that, that, that I like about this is that this text is readable using a text reader. Um, if we need help spelling, we can spell those uh, uh, items out with supports of oh, read and write for Google or perhaps co-writer. And that's the first step. The second step, let's look at a, a fully uh, constructed mind map based on the uh, exciting book, Things Fall Apart. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit more, and you can see our main character. He's a clan leader, his wives, and uh, this person here. Uh, I believe it is a, an adopted son. And we scroll down a little bit more, but all characteristics of uh, or, or, or important sections that are related to our clan leader. And then we have all of the people that are related to him by association throughout the book. And so we can use this to help students understand the breadth of characters in a book. 
uh, maybe a little bit of information about them. Certainly with all of these things, they could select a tab, I'm sorry, select a, a, a button and add to it on their own for, for study purposes or otherwise writing support. So this is one that's already been created where it really, where mind map shines well above every other one that I've seen is that we can download this as an outline. And so with that, let me show you what it looks like. There are different formats that you can use. I particularly like tab indented text uh, outlines. If you want to use one of these, a different one, go ahead and actually you can experiment and find one that you like. Myself, I'm going with the tab indented text. I'm going with uh, headings and, and bullet points and I'm going to export. Remember, I'm, I'm exporting from a cloud-based service to another cloud-based service, a, a Google Drive. Um, I'm going to, I, so I've downloaded it, I'm going to save it to Drive. And I will name it Things22, and I will upload it to Google Drive. Now I'm at the point, and this is all happening in real time, so I'm not speeding anything along here. Select Open. And the first thing it does, uh, it just confused me once, uh, but this is the, the document viewer. Uh, if I, you know, if this doesn't appear, it's usually, it'll be hidden. Um, I'm going to open it with Google Docs. And here we have our web uh, document of, uh, in mind, of things fall apart now is an outline in Google Drive. Once it's in Google Drive, I can do all the editing and additions that are, are necessary for a given assignment. This connectivity between the web-based, the, the story webbing, comprehension webbing, and Google Docs will make it easier for students to expand on their writing, I think be more accurate with their writing. So there it is, MindMup 2.0 for Chrome one you should check out.